One of the easiest student response systems to use is called Poll Everywhere. You can get to their website by going to www.polleverywhere.com. Once you get to the website, we'll watch their one minute introductory video to give you an idea of all of the things that Poll Everywhere offers. So you're giving a presentation and you want to get some feedback from your audience. Show of hands, how many of you signed up for office hours? One, two, four, two, That's not very accurate. Old voting methods take far too long, and expensive voting systems like this one, well, they're difficult to set up and don't allow for audience comments. Hello? Oh. Introducing Poll Everywhere. Through a simple web interface, Poll Everywhere lets you collect instant audience feedback. Just type in a question, and your audience can respond using laptops, tablets, or even mobile phones even your crappy flip phone. Hey guys, what do you think of my presentation so far? Is it A, amazing, B, incredibly amazing, or C, not that great? To respond, just text message the number on screen. Or use a custom URL to respond in the web app. You can even use Twitter if that's what you're into. As people respond, results are embedded instantly into your presentation in real time. Seriously, guys? You can also ask open-ended questions. What is your favorite part of my outfit? Poll Everywhere also lets you customize the look of your charts to wow your audience. And for all you spreadsheet nerds out there, you can even create segmented cross-tab analytics. The best part about it is you can try it today for free. So how excited are you guys about Poll Everywhere? A, can't contain it, or B, not at all? Kaboom! Instant audience feedback. Poll Everywhere. Poll Everywhere is great because it makes it really simple to create instant polls or questions so you can gauge your classroom's interest in a particular topic or their understanding of a particular issue that you're covering. You can create an account for free, and once you do, you'll go to My Polls to create your very first poll. Simply go to the red button that says Create Poll at the top left-hand side of your screen and click it. Now you'll enter a question. This might be a question related to the content in your course so that you can gauge students understanding in real time or it might be something simple as getting some demographics from your students. Once you start typing your question you'll see that you can select the way that your audience responds. You have several choices, the first being open-ended if you choose open-ended, students can um, include qualitative response that will immediately pop up on the screen in any one of these four formats, a text wall, a word cloud, a cluster, or a ticker. If multiple students select the same um, option, for example, many students select social work as their major, then the word cloud would make social work appear larger just as in a traditional word cloud. You may also select multiple choice um, and you can create true false or any number of additional responses by clicking add an answer and um, you can do that as many times as you would like to do. Finally you can upload images into Poll Everywhere so that you can have students select various images as their response option as well. At this point, you can um, add another question to your poll, or you can simply create this poll with one question. So if we click Create, you'll see that on the screen, it gives students the instructions about how they can participate in the poll. This is set up as a text poll. So what they will do is actually enter the phone number 37607 into the 2 box on their phone 
Then they'll type their response and the number 824020 and push send. And when they do that, their qualitative response will immediately pop up on this screen which can be displayed at the front of your classroom. So you're really getting a real-time honest answer from your students and you can um, have all of your students participate in this poll. Um, and um, as you'll see down here it talks about some of the restrictions. The free account is limited to 40 responses per poll. Um, which for most of the classes in our school, the School of Social Work, this isn't a problem. Um, you can purchase a larger plan um, and that's an option. Poll Everywhere is very um, reasonable when it comes to cost. This is an example of a poll that's been completed that I did in the past. Um, the question that I posed was, how familiar are, familiar are you with the concept of flipping the classroom? And you can see I chose the multiple choice um, answer boxes, and I created these different boxes, and I had responses on three of the four different answer choices that I chose. I could reopen this poll if I wanted to. Um, and it will stay here in my account as long as I don't delete it. This is an example of another question that I posed. What programs or applications have you used to record your lectures? And you can see that I chose the word cloud option on this one and that the largest number of people chose Camtasia as their response. So just another way to depict qualitative answers that can be helpful in a face-to-face -face classroom. Again, this is one example, Poll Everywhere is one example of a student response system that uses technology in the face-to-face -face classroom and incorporates the devices that students bring to class in a way that helps them engage with each other and with the course content.